what did you see? I mean, from, from where we sat, the Cakes, uh, Brent Forrester line looked like your best line tonight. What, what were those guys doing tonight that made them so special? Well, I thought, I thought three out of the four lines were good. I'm not sure which one's best or not. But they, they checked. Uh, I thought it was one of Bobby Brink's better games, away from the puck, with the puck. Uh, created a lot of turnovers. As a whole lately, you know, Tyson Forster makes that play. I said Garnet Hathaway looked to be involved tonight. Well, yeah, I yeah, I think I think Pales' line has been they they've been involved. Um, Garney ends up with probably three or four really good chances tonight. Um, Tyson's been inconsistent. I thought played better tonight. But we're going to need to get more out of him. Is he playing physically a little bit stronger? He gets the goal, yes, but there was a play in the third period. Who? Brink. There's a play where he pushes Panarin pretty much from your blue line. The range of he's checking better. Yeah, he, I, I think he's more aware of, a, of his play away from the puck. Uh, puck follows him offensively. Uh, I'm not worried about his offense. It's just, is he going to allow me to keep playing him in situations? You know, they, they played against, as the game went on, they played against one of their top lines. When, when Peter changed their lines, they, they played against some pretty good players too. So he's got he's to instill that confidence in me with his play away from the puck without hurting his offensive play. Your last 11, you're over 500 for the first time since opening night. How is that translated? Not to mention, you guys don't have Sam right now. The goalie situation, how much they've played better to give you that chance? They've played good. They, they, they have made, it was a tough game for Feds today. Not much action. Watching that other guy just stand on his head. Um, and made, uh, he, he just he made some really key saves at key times. And uh, Coley's done the same thing. Uh, we don't get a point out in Nashville the other night, not anywhere near getting a point if Coley doesn't play the way he has. So those two guys, we're, you know, we're alternating them through, have done the job and kept us in games when we struggled and have made important saves at important times. That, those are the saves that are really key for us. John, the, and, uh, the Rangers have been struggling a little bit. Was there a point of emphasis at all about trying to get on them early and maybe kind of hurt their belief a little bit more? No, we're just worried about ourselves. We just wanted to get on our toes and uh, – Nashville, we didn't win any battles. We weren't, uh, it, as a group, we just looked a step slow. Uh, found a way, though, and uh, we needed to play better tonight. And I thought right from the get-go, we were on our toes. Our D were up in the neutral zone. We had good pinches. Um, I thought right on through the game, I thought we played really well. Is this, is this as close? Um, you, know, you mentioned Nashville. I mean, you guys were a step slow, but Vegas, you guys were, were everywhere. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, obviously not perfect, but is this as close to the way you could want this team to be playing? Well, this is a style of play we want to play. And, and the Vegas in this game here, there are so many clips uh, that, that we keep. Like, we, we keep a – if we see good team concept clips that this is what we want to do, we keep those on file. We're filled with them in these two games. Rocky's kind of in charge of that as far as that team concept tape. And Vegas, we had a ton of them. And tonight, we had it was very similar uh, as far as us surfing and, and pinching and just playing on our toes up ice. One or two more. John, just in regards to the goalies, I know you keep a sort of a hands off approach to them. How much credit does Kim Dillaball or should Kim Dillaball be getting for taking two guys young in NHL experience, really don't speak the language, yeah. and getting them playing as well as a ton? Does? I, I, he, he deserves credit for being a goalie coach in Philadelphia. It doesn't matter what goalie's here. Being a goalie coach in Philadelphia, he deserves a ton of credit. He's done a terrific job, and he, he has to listen to shit from me and when things aren't going right with that position. I know nothing about it, but I'm the first one to piss him on about it when it's not getting done. So he, he, he's a terrific coach, and I, I, think, I think he brings a steadiness to that. It's such a unique position in what he coaches because it's kind of his team. I stay out of it, uh, and it's kind of his little enterprise there, and I think he does a terrific job. Um, you, you mentioned the other night about the 50-50 battles not being won, and it looked like tonight there was a lot of puck support, good breakouts. Did you feel like the structure itself was much better? Oh, much better. Right from the get-go, it was much better. We, we ended up, you know, you, you knew the game was going to end up the way it was because we just couldn't finish. We had, we had grade-A chances all over the place, and it stems from us playing forward, uh, playing fast, checking forward, and winning those battles in the neutral zone. The, the neutral zone isn't talked enough about as far as which end you play in, and I thought we controlled that for the most of the time tonight.